Hello and welcome to another Happily Letter After tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to do ribbon lettering using some Tombow brush pens. Um, it's very easy to do and I'm also going to have a Procreate tutorial that you can follow along with too if you prefer to work in Procreate instead of on paper. But for those of you who don't have Procreate or who want to do traditional lettering, I'm going to show you how to do that. And we're going to do the same word for both projects. So feel free to follow along. I'm going to do the word hope since we are now starting 2021 and hopefully this year will be better than 2020. All right, so I'm using a brush pen and you can use whatever kind of marker you want. It doesn't have to be Tombow, it doesn't have to be a brush marker. You can use a chisel tip, you can use Crayola. It really doesn't matter. So you're gonna go ahead and you are going to write out your word. And I'm going to try not to do um, different thicknesses like you normally would when you're doing um, calligraphy because you want the strokes to be somewhat the same for the ribbon effect. Okay, so the ends of the ribbon, I'm going to draw in little points like this so that it looks like it was cut, you know, like you see on the pictures of ribbons. I'm going to thicken this one up a little bit and excuse my kitty. <laughs> All right, so grab a slightly darker color of your marker and what you're going to do is where um, the marker, where the ribbon has overlapped the underside, you want to go over it and make it a little bit darker. And you want to do it over here too to see how it's overlapping slightly. You can kind of blend by stippling your brush a little bit and a little bit here and here. And when you, you can kind of follow your letters the way they go. So this one goes up and then down. So this part of the O is going to be on top. So we can kind of shade in just a little bit here. And a little bit on this underside here. And it's not perfect, of course, but I'm just showing you an idea on how to make it look more like a ribbon. And you can choose whatever colors you like. I just figure since Valentine's coming up in another month, this might be a good Valentine's Day color and you can use this for cards. All right, so now you have your ribbon lettering. And if you have a gray marker, you can always uh, do outlines to make it look like a shadow, to make it look like it's laying on the page more and uh, really make it pop. But that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you'd like to learn how to do this in Procreate, then head on over to my other video. I will leave a link in the video description for you.